You could try and make the, uh, maybe you could try matcha. Uh, I, I've never been like a huge fan of teas in general. Like a, may, maybe like an English breakfast with a little bit of milk and sugar, but I'm there for the milk and sugar. The English breakfast is just coming along for the ride at that point. Uh, Molting Imp Sting. <laughs> Two Molting Imps and one important work, as well as the Seraph that is going to purge this while boss and debuffs. One sec while I quickly move this down. Beautiful. All right, so... I was about to say, let's run an imp deck, but we've already got the Ashens of the Fallen. Summon abilities trigger an additional time. So we are right off to a good start with that. Um, well, I'll probably go Hornbreaker over the Multi-Striker right now. T is the drink of the gods. I don't disagree. I, I imagine uh, people who enjoy tea to be sitting down to a tea in the afternoon is their ambrosia. Uh, it's just not for me. Not particularly, at least. Enemies enter with spell shield. Yeah, I've got two molten imps. It's gonna be fine. Oh, this will work. Double torch the backliner for the kill, and then get my slay off on the first round. All right, I'll throw a sting on the top line, and then one molting. That's enough. Get the train suit on the next. Time to sack some imps? Yeah, definitely is. In fact, I think we've already got the kill. No? Oh, it's because that discipled foot soldier in the backline there. Dang. Uh. Okay, never mind. We haven't already got the kill. In fact, we're uh, having a lot of difficulty with it. This dang foot soldier? Oh, it saved them so much damage right there. Two torches, a molting him to the front line. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna take what? Eight damage here? Dang. So it looks like we basically would have needed two torches on the turn or to set up higher so that we had more turns that we could have drawn two torches so that we could actually you know, prevent the disciples friend, the sniper, from getting that much damage in. Hey, this is Monster Train. Yeah, it is. Not bad. Hi, Thomas Salada. Thomas Lasada, sorry. Kin Passage, Fortify, Endflame. Mm. Endflame's nice. Gives a little bit of damage and a little bit of armor to the Hornbreaker Prince who wants both. I'll take it. Uh, and Snare? Probably not, though. But yes, uh, Bed Wars extended until the 27th. Uh, just in case anyone happened to not see. It was April 9th it was going to end. Now it's extended to the 27th. I couldn't be happier. And snare. Actually, maybe Wildwood Custodian. Yeah, if we have a lot of imps in the deck, we want a little bit of extra draw because they cost nothing. Uh, forge spells and gain a Hellhaunt unit. Sure, we're looking for more... More imps. Those aren't really imp-friendly units so much. I could take it off a friend. It, it doesn't hurt to just have another unit. It's just... Uh, I'm going to need, like, basically Impsicle or Imp in a Box with the Consume removed for this to actually be ridiculous. What deck will you try today? Well, at the start of this, I got two Molting Imps and an important work in the deck, as well as the Ashes of the Fallen, which double your summon abilities. So I'm going to be looking for summon stuff, broadly speaking, at least. I think I will take the Alpha Friend. Yeah. We'll see. We don't have to use them. Remove Consume from a spell. Oof. That's not what I wanted. At least I've got the cost reduction on end flame. So hold over another cost reduction on an end flame. Um, double stack. Any of those would be really good for us. As for cutting cards from the deck. The fact that I have two stings makes the torches a little less useful. Very little uptime. Yeah, uh, the uptime's been 10 minutes so far. 
So do not worry. This is going to be our second fight in just a moment. I think I'll remove one Restore and one Torch. Just because getting back to that End Flame now that it's upgraded is a pretty good idea. Actually, maybe also one more. Restore? Yeah, I don't have that many units with high HP totals, so I'll actually remove another Restore. So in this next area, do you have any card except for your champion? That could easily be used for another multi-imp at this point, just because no imps in the deck yet. Gain a Hillhorned unit, something interesting in the Frozen Caverns. Yeah, we're probably going on this side down here. Alpha Friend is nice for the Merchant of Steel, but unless I get like a bunch of money, so unless I held off on spending as much money as I just did, uh, but unless I get a bunch of money, we're going to have a little bit of difficulty with it. Enemies appear on every floor at the start. Am I okay with that? It gives me a lot more to slay with the Hornbreaker Prince. Okay. We should sort it. Alpha Friend on the top line. Hornbreaker Prince behind. End Flame on the Alpha Friend. That's only going to kill two of them. And it means that I will always only kill two of them. It's the best I can do right now, though. Have you try to take cards which you've not won with, uh, won with yet in order to push for completion? Yes. Yes. Uh, to the point that I might just throw a card that isn't necessarily good in a deck into the deck just for the sake of the completion. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping for a couple of torches, maybe a sting or two at the start there. I'm gonna need a sting or two here. Yeah, that's a, that's a Alpha Fiend loss. As long as I torch one of you, I don't lose the Hornbreaker as well. Go train steward, double malting imp on this floor. Just save a floor's worth of damage for us. Okay. So this is basically the fight if I hadn't drafted the Alpha Fiend. That's totally okay. As long as I can get another train steward in front of them. So what have I taken? Three, three, one, one, eight damage total in order to get this. Really interesting title there, Abs. Yeah, I was, I was going for something. I like, I'm constantly trying to have like some format that is non-standard for the stream announcements. I don't really know where the line is yet, so I'm trying to define it. Off to bed, have a good stream. Thank you, uh, WCPAs. Sleep well. Need to heal right now. Uh, put the train to you on the bottom line fast then. Okay, at the very least, I can get your spikes off early. Important work. What can I draw with this? Nothing that great, to be honest. Eh, restores use. Useful, at least. Gets you above six for an extra turn of attacking. So we have a 45 on the top line. Maybe an end flame and a heal here would be enough. So wait, you're on seven, which is two hits with the last night. Actually, it doesn't change anything. So I put an end flame there and then a wildwood custodian, maybe in front of you even. Critical streamer chef tells you the monster train is raw for four hours. I, I didn't want to do anything that would imply that I was going to be doing it for the whole stream, so I just wanted to make sure that it was clear I'm just doing it for the announcement. Because I do not want to have to do a whole ASMR stream. Alright. Yeah, got our extra 50 there. Still cost us 8. Malting Imp. Yeah. Is that Thorns? No, I'll pass all these. Considering the name important work isn't really that um, something that's valuable and necessary. What's the word there? A uh, crucial is the word you're looking for. Arcus Brown was crucial. Clouds have helped. 
I guess I could dupe an end flame at this point. I still don't like it. We'll look at the uh, the Hellhorn unit first. Dude, I don't want any of that. I'm fine, thank you. Concealed Cavern, maybe you give me something worth duping. The word you're looking for is imperative? Oh, sorry, yes, it's imperative. My bad. Yukarim has you on that one. For every friendly unit summon, uh, sorry, for every friendly unit, sorry, when summoned, friendly units get plus one for every black card in your deck. Eh, I should take one of these though. Do they, do these cards get golden borders when you win with them? Because I swear I've won with dead weights in the deck before. Have you done a deck with Consumer of Crowns yet? Uh, yes, it was episode six of the Let's Stream series. I had uh, a Consumer of Crowns on every floor. When you play your first Blight card each turn, restore three Pyre health. I mean, this is a good way to get a lot of health out of this. Hey, 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 it's my first time watching a stream of yours. Long-time follower of your YouTube channel. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, 12.15 in the morning where I live. So what's up? What's up, bud? It's, uh, 8 in the morning for me. We're both off peak times. Playing a black card deals 15 damage to the front enemy unit. I kind of do want to take that. Because we're very early on. There will be a lot of enemies that will add blights into our deck. And then we should just be able to blow them up with that. Yeah, let's take the one with the ember. Sure. In it always big times in your household? Oh, I occasionally use this sleep. How's your day been? Very short. Yourself, King of Pixel? Probably another end flame, right? But then it's just peak sleep hours. It's off peak hours at that point. Double restore? No, sorry, not double restore. Du double molting imp. Sorry, I, I was scrolling down as I was looking here at the molting imp. Ember's a three energy for 50 damage once. You might even consider those. Uh... Yeah. I honestly, the the fact that it gives me the calcified embers in my deck is not really what I took it for. I took the, uh, I took that buff so that when other enemies add blights into my deck, I can just nuke them out. It's probably another end flame right now. Big as a robot. Aren't we all biological robots, Raze though? Aren't we all? Is there any other source of blights other than that one boss? There are a couple of bosses that do it. There are a lot of normal enemies that have blights. Oh, blights or scourges? Is a scourge considered a blight? Oh, sorry, I might... They add scourges, not blights. They're specific... Bones. Dang it. That's not what I wanted to hear. Well, these are garbage then. Yeah, scourge like status and blade is cursed. Yeah, thank you, Johnny Devo. Never mind, I'm just a dummy then. So this is not gonna help us in the way that I'd hoped. I just need to burn these out then. Maybe I keep one in the deck just to see if it gets a golden border. You could get that one event. The <laughs> what? Triplicate it? Sorry, triplicate it. Give it uh, five copies. Consider yourself re-noticed, Exiled King. Pentiplicate? I thought it was, uh... Quinplicate. But, but I guess Pant... Pant is vibe as well, so yeah, Pentiplicate. That'll work. I don't know which root it should be drawing from. Pentiplicate? Perfect. Yeah, maybe we Pentiplicate them. There's another event with Blights, I think. Uh... Not that I'm aware of, I don't think. Maybe there's one that only turns up if you have Blights in your deck already? Quintuple? Ah, there we go. No, that's in private beta? Oh, okay, 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 that makes sense. I've uh, been specifically avoiding spoilers for the 
other content yet. So far, at least, brother. Maybe I should set up a Wildwood Custodian and then double Molting Imp on the bottom floor here, just for the extra draw. Because I want both of these to get to the next floor so that I can get the Alpha Friend to do a Strike and so that I can get the Hornbreaker Prince to do a Slay. But then if I nuke the bottom floor, I also just rob another one. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Actually, you'll go up to 13, which won't be enough to kill the Forge Disciple, and then the Hornbreak Prince will follow through for the kill. So, in fact, I'll throw that. Yeah, you'll go down to 14, and then... Yeah, this is going to be completely fine. This should enable the Alpha Friend and the Hornbreak Prince to get as much power out as possible. For them to grow as big as they possibly can at this point in time. Okay, thank heck I got a torch there. Double end flame for the back line. Otherwise, the Alpha Friend is going to kill the Forged Disciple coming up. I know that's throwing armor on a unit that doesn't necessarily need it right now, but it will need it for the final part of the, uh, of the fight. Torch you. Sack a train steward? Yeah, I really don't need that. Sack it. Rip card draw, dude? Yeah. It was useful. It doesn't have to be useful for the entire fight to be useful, though. So. This will be good enough for me. I mean, that sting does nothing on that floor right now. May as well throw it somewhere else. Double multi imp on that floor is a bad idea too. The train steward and multi imp here. So what, I need one torch or one sting next turn. What are you thinking about other clans? Have you seen them? I have not seen them. Drumstick eater, I have not seen them. I'm intentionally avoiding spoilers on them just because I'd like to encounter them for the first time around the same time I want to play them. Okay. That's basically as fast as we can get. Float like Daedalus, sting like a sting spell. Best way to get it done. Uh, yeah, one more end flame on the back line is fine. Did you hear about the extending of beta at least? Yes, otherwise I wouldn't be able to play it at the moment. I was specifically tipped off to that one, thankfully. Emotes of chibi visions of the champions. Yeah, I, I th I've seen the uh, the little images of the champions because on the end splash screen, once you win a run, uh, it shows you the other three clans kind of champion portraits. But that's about as much as I've seen. When does it release? No clue whatsoever. Quarter two, 2020 is all I know. If you could base a clan around a specific mechanic, what would you want it to be then? So I've heard that one of them is based around spells. Base a clan around a single mechanic. See, I, I would imagine that they would have unique mechanics that I haven't already necessarily seen in the game. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. Puzzles, Light of Seraph, or Fells. I kind of want a little bit of extra space, to be entirely honest. But I don't have enough imps to justify that yet. Extra card draw is nice. Get back to the end flames faster. Get back to the zero cost stings and the zero cost multi imps. Like, draw is probably what I should go here. You want a clan base around minions that revive after they die, but duplicate when they do? Okay, I can see that. So when they die, they come back and overstack the floor. That would be interesting. Vanya! Absolutely, it's my first time catching a stream live. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Vanya. It's very kind of you to say. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Dark Deal is huge. 
lot of damage, but we don't have a multi-striker yet. But we do intend on turning the Hornbreaker into a multi-striker now. We just wanted Slay first. Wildwood Tome could help our Hornbreaker Prince get a lot of Slays off before the Alpha Friend takes any damage here. That'd be useful. Hey, Dana Shadow. Welcome. What if there was a clan that was like, no, no. I was thinking like a clan that's based around buffing the pyre and your units are kind of just like all channeler units and then frontline units to help protect. And you're just trying to build up the pyre to the point that it'll kill all the enemies. But then like spikes and explosive to the front, uh, deal front, deal two damage to the front enemy unit. Like those kinds of things are brutal at that point. So I don't know. I, I think it would take me a long time to think of uh, a, a, a gap that I would like filled with the other clans. Dark Deal, Wildwood Tome. Probably a Tome, right? You're my favorite Harry and Dubois? I'm really glad to hear that. I, uh, I, I've finally finished recording Disco Elysium. The, the reason the episode today ends without an outro and the episode tomorrow is going to start without an intro is because I constantly thought, oh, I'm, I, I must be five minutes away from finishing this game. So I just kept going, and then I ended up with a three hour long file. So the the end is a chunky one. Don't need any of those though. I hope the other clans don't pinch and hole you too hard. Diversity of possible builds is what makes games like this fun. Uh, the, the fact that the other clans are gonna have, you know, four different clans to subclass with will give you that diversity of builds. Okay, so holdover or Holdover, cost reduction, or double stack. Any of those would be really good in the Merchant of Magic over here. I really hope you succeed the next big role in DE wraps. It's my favorite thing in the entire game. I I don't know what role you're referring to because I don't know how many different things could have happened at the end. Uh, but I... Uh, without spoiling, I will say I am satisfied with, uh, with how my how many of my storylines wrapped up. D, Disco Elysium. It's the series that I'm doing on my channel, voice acting the entire way through at the moment. It's very, very good fun. Uh, Merchant Magic. Yeah, I want both sides. Hold over, double stack, we got it. Double stack is fine. <laughs> Double stack on one of them and then hold uh, and then cost reduction on the other. Are you going to do another Disco Elysium run or stop with that right now? I, I have to stop with that right now. Uh, that slot, that one daily slot has been Disco Elysium now for, what is it? Six, so, uh, including gaps around three months. So I really need that slot back to start covering other games as well. Unfortunate. I agree. Enemies get spikes three. No, that'll kill us. The Hornbreaker Prince. Well, the Hornbreaker Prince does get a lot of inflames on them. It was an amazing three months wrap. I'll be sad to see it go. I I was very sad after the, the game ended. Like, despite the fact that obviously I really enjoyed my entire way through, there was a sadness of, I'm done with this now. I have been playing like a second file in my own time just to see a couple of the different things that you can do at the start. Like I, I, <laughs> I, I have a short tempered disco cop uh, who decked both uh, Measurehead and Kuno, which was fun. It was fun to see. I'm still glad that that wasn't my canon character though. I mean, I could do this. I think I will. The rats in chat. Really briefly, what is this game? It's a deck building roguelike set on multiple layered, uh, sorry, vertical layered battlefields. Uh, effectively, you play out your cards and then let them auto battle on each of the individual fields. You'd hit Kuno? No. In my canon play file, I did not. And in, you know, my canon play file is kind of based largely on me. But uh, but I wanted to see what would happen. It's the same kind of thing. So uh, in Undermine, when you start your second uh, Undermine, sorry, in uh, not Undermine, 
in uh, Undertale, when you start your second run, uh, Flowey uh, accuses you of having a perverted sentimentality, of, of having a corrupted, uh, a corrupted reason for wanting to go back to that world just to see what would happen effectively. Um, and oftentimes that's what players did, right? They finished their pacifist run and then they went back and went, okay, now what if I screwed everything up? And I effectively did that. That's what I'm doing at the moment, going back and screwing everything up instead. Unfortunately, this says encant gives you uh, gain 10 armor whenever I play a spell on that floor. So I was thinking of Molting Imp, which is very likely to end up killing the Quill Marksman doing 10 damage to the Eclipse Reflector, and then using important work to sacrifice it so that I can play down both the Alpha Fiend and the... Sorry, Alpha Friend, rather, and the Hornbreaker Prince, but that's not actually going to be enough to kill the Eclipse Reflector if I do that. And then all of my damage is tied up on that floor. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm ever able to kill the Clip Reflector on the front line here. Right? It's going to take, like, the Hornbreaker Prince already getting a slay, and that's just not happening at this point. Okay, hang on. If I need them to already get a slay, what I do is I Alpha Friend the top floor Hornbreaker. Okay... I can't sting. That won't do any damage here. So you do five, you do six, and then hit on the back. Okay, so train steward. I hit you for five. And then next, when you get to the top floor, Alpha Fiend and the Hornbreaker Prince kill you. But that does mean the Quill Marksman gets to the top floor, unfortunately. Please tell me you're going to steal the old man's sandwich. It's the only thing he has left. His friend died. His friend was awful, but his friend died. And was awful and deserved to die. Deserved to die? No. That, that was hyperbolic. <laughs> that's that's game speech. Okay, I actually got the two units I wanted to hit there. Neat. Calcified. Yeah, I'll throw the calcified on the bottom floor here as well, actually. Definitely not deserved. I'm not going to make that argument. I never would. Uh, this will give what? Ra Rage 6 is actually fine. It's still enough to kill. Go Molten Imp. Train Steward behind. Do a basically exactly the same thing we did before. It's probably a Toasted Turkey Club Sandwich. Ooh, baby. It's probably... I'm going to say there's a couple slices of cup of coal on there. Maybe a bit of mozzarella. This is, this is probably a deli sandwich. I'm, I'm guessing that's a good sandwich. He looks like he knows his sandwiches, Gaston. I mean that in the blindest possible way. Looks like a discerning man with an intent to eat a good sandwich. Just got here. What relics do you have? Ashes of the Fallen. Uh, summon abilities trigger an additional time, as well as Ember Stasis, which I thought was going to work on Scourges. It does not. Uh, playing a black card deals 50 damage to the front enemy unit, and then Light of Seraph as well. Sixty-five. Yeah, I can throw out a restore on this floor too. And in fact, at this point, I can also kill you. Beautiful. Is this the first run of the day, or have I missed something already? First run of the day. Uh, my uh, I my time zone changed. So I'm still streaming at the same time in the morning that I previously would have, but uh, it, it's an hour later for, for much of the world. I do apologize for that, but uh, starting streaming at 7.30 in the morning, uh, sorry, 7 in the morning rather, uh, is a bit hard on my roommates. They still need sleep. Ugh. Needing sleep. Who does that? Let's throw a Wildwood Custodian on this floor. Don't need it. Sleep is for the weak. Exactly. I mean, I'm it's 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 definitely not like some sort of a genetic component that gives me the ability to sleep a much shorter period of time than most people. And still be fine. It's definitely some sort of a moral failing.
Because there can't be other factors at play here. Of course not. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees, advice Kong. I got bills to pay. I got mounts to feed. Ain't nothing in this world for free. That whole album is really good. Uh, Impolite versus Impish Scholar. Impish Scholar would return what to us at this point? Nothing. Uh, Wildwood Tome? Ooh, a quick Alpha Friend and a quick uh, Hornbreak Prince, maybe? Wait, Dalliate Savings Change. Thanks for the update wraps. Uh, yes, yes, it actually did for you, Emmy. Impolite. It could be Impolite just with frontline damage. This is another Imp, but I don't need it for anything yet. Ah, uh, fine. Elilek, too. Thank you very much for the Twitch, uh, Twitch, sorry, for the tier one subscription. Enjoy your emotes and chat and welcome to the Republic. I'm fast on this. Thank you all for spamming the rap so five yays there. Uh, gain an artifact as well as forge my units as well as an event. That seems pretty good. Yeah, because both of my end flames are double stacked already. So basically the best I could get over here would be like cost reduction and holdover for impolate. It's pretty good. Found just like the spice series on YouTube. So I'm seeing like the least I could do for the many hours of entertainment. That's very kind of you to do, uh, Elilek. Very kind of you to do. I'm glad I could provide the many hours of entertainment. I'm gonna go for this. Alpha Friend getting a buff could be really good. Friendly units enter with Rage 3. That does let the imps actually deal some damage. When you play your third card of the turn, draw three though. That's a lot of draw. And uh, for the sake of the, the important work and getting back to the end flames, that's, yeah, I think I have to take the sigiled steel here. Helps early slay. It helps early slay by like six damage though. It's like relatively small. Hey Rhapsody, how's the doorknob situation going? Um, let's go on an adventure for a second here. I want to see how far I can actually get this to reach. All right. This is effectively the key that I have to use to get out of my room. It's not good. Unfortunately, I can't really get uh, the agent of the property around here to do anything about it. And I can't really go anywhere to get materials to fix it at the moment because of the whole, you know, pandemic situation. Found to the YouTube channel by Slay This Why Videos. First time crashing the stream. Hope you enjoyed the doorknob stream there for a moment, Trucy Mage. Good to have you around. Okay, let me just quickly get all this set back up perfectly. Sorry about that. Thumb over the camera there for a second. Just epoxy the handle with quick set epoxy. I will do that as soon as I have quick set epoxy. I, I have some tools around the house, but I don't have many uh, uh, consumable tools. Duct tape the doorknob to the door. Uh, I don't even know if I have duct tape around at the moment. Exile King, thank you very much for the uh, the 100 bits, though. And King of Pixel 1, thank you very much for the Twitch... Uh, sorry, Twitch. For the tier 1 subscription. Enjoy your modes and chat, and welcome to the public. Okay, does the other side also have the doorknob missing, so you can claim it as a security feature? I'll take the one off of the other side, and then I can claim it. But yeah, no, I have to keep that... <laughs> I have to keep that on the inside of this room, otherwise I can't escape. 
Came for the thousand eyes. Yeah, I'll give you some health. I'll give you some health. I'll give you some health. Ooh, I got nothing. I know that in the private beta that has been fixed because they talked about it in the developer stream. What do we got? Mm. If I make the alpha friend bigger, I don't actually have the ability to put it on the same floor as the prince. I don't know. Give it health? Yeah, because it does end up being a frontline unit. Watch Steven Universe Future. I haven't finished it yet. Maybe I could give it six extra damage so it gets off its uh, attacks. No. No, I need to wait for something like multi-strike or quick. You can turn them down for gold. Uh, you can't turn... Oh, sorry. In that event, yeah, they fix it so that you have the ability to turn the relic that you get from the cave event down uh, for gold. It's useful. Oh, uh, well. Guess we'll go Hornbreaker. I really hope that we get a slay after this. Uh, sorry, the uh, multi-strike after this. Enter with spell shield. Do I care about that? Sneak Eclipse have infiltrated your train. Use spells and higher floors to take them out. I should be fine. Giant Imp, you know you want to see it? I mean, when I have an Imp that is... You know what? What, what, what Imp would be best to make Giant? Probably like an Endless Transcend Imp kind of situation. If it's going to be anything. Actually, I think I might just start throwing end flames on my on my hornbreaker here. Zillapop, thank you very much for the uh, the T1 subscription. Enjoy most in chat. Welcome to the public. Glad you picked hornbreaker over hornbreaker. Eventually, I will not call them that, but today is clearly not that day. Uh, Molting him. Definitely not on that floor. No, I both. I want both of these to get an attack off. So I'll go for one sting and then hopefully... Yeah, I will draw a sting next turn. So we'll kill the frontline silent marksman with that. Cool. Actually, I could even throw a torch out. Yeah, I'll throw a torch out this turn. It's fine. So I don't have to worry about it. Molting him. Molting him again. Our alpha friend is not going to be enough to kill the clip defender in the frontline. That's a harvest trigger rather than anything else. Oh, that's a harvest trigger. I didn't think about that. All right, I have to kill the clip defender here. It's going to be important work. Throw out the calcified ember, gets the kill. So you get another 10 after that. Okay. By the time this gets to the top floor... It'll have nine extra on that. So 64, 64. This will have 13. And then this will have 55, 13. Yeah, that'll be enough. Cool. Hey, Nickman Found. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime subscription and keeping the hype train going. Much appreciated. Enjoy your modes in chat and welcome to the Republic. Uh, nothing else needs to do at the moment. We're done. You map? It's okay. It's just a little bit of quick map. You gotta do it from time to time. Again, I just need one of those down. All right, I'm going to play a train suit on this floor basically just to sack it. I want it out of the cycles. 30 damage. I guess there's no reason not to do that. End flame. We can't sack a second unit on that floor. So what? Actually, the, the Hornbreaker Prince will, with the Slay here, be powerful enough to take out the overcharged tank. Completely fine. 
As long as I kill this silent marksman. So I'm gonna throw those two down. Nothing the important work here though. Check if one of the clans has stealth. If your own? How would your own units... Uh, how would that manifest, giving your own unit stealth? I guess they just skip the attack. They do have the ability to attack back. So it's kind of like a, like a damage shield. In fact, it's exactly like damage shield. Because your enemies don't have spells, and that's the difference between damage shield and stealth as the player. I guess stealth is like... Damage, damage shield is also stacks, whereas stealth is amount of turns as well. Greeting from Germany. Greeting to Germany. Uh, Schaltenblut. Drum Sakita. Catch around. Sleep well. Have you done today's daily yet? No. In two runs time, that will be the time for daily. But not yet. Thank you, Sniper. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. We can just give your guys stealth with spells to save damage. It's the same kind of thing like days. Yeah, but actually, how is it different to days then? I guess days is again a stack, but it's one per floor. No, yeah, days and dazing your opponent and stealthing yourself are indistinct, indistinguishable from one another, as far as I can tell. Dane, good to see you. How's it going, friend? All right. Sack a train sewer because I don't need it. Throw a sting and a torch out there, just so I can get to an in flame. And in fact, I'll even torch you down. You'll love today's daily. I took inspiration from a YouTube sesh of this. This is all I say. Much appreciated for uh, the discretion there, Dan Wolf. And Silly, thank you very much for the gift of a tier one sub to Dane. Dane, enjoy your remotes and chat. And welcome to the Republic. Stealth on enemies lets you invalidate enemy blockers. Ooh, that is appealing. Okay, yeah, there is there is a difference in how you play it on the enemies. I like it a lot. Let's go with the end flame. Double torch for the back line. Yeah, because we have the zero cost end flame still in the deck. This game looks interesting. Been meaning to check it out. I would heavily recommend checking it out, Dane. Extremely easy to get the access to check it out and extremely good fun to check out. I like the idea of smaller imps, uh, smaller units like imps that buff their allies when killed. That would be interesting, like a like a, a clan that had like a lot of on death effects and was minion heavy. That'd be interesting. Rats, right, so I told you my name is translated Shadow Blood. That was on May twenty second. Uh, I mean, the blood part I should have been able to remember just as far as words go. But I'll say Shadow Blood from now on. Spike of the Hellhorned, Battering Ram, Impish Scholar. Impish Scholar, again, only has the Wildwood Tome to return to my hand at this point. Is it true what they say about you on Reddit? Uh, this is a setup for a... Setup for a slam, I imagine, Paul, these bodies, but okay. What do they say about me on Reddit? I didn't know they said anything about me on Reddit. They say words, obviously. You'd think. Impish Scholar. Eh, it's just another imp in the deck. Do I need another imp in the deck that does nothing? Doesn't feel like it. But it is another zero cost card to play. Yeah, it'll be good. More sacrificial lambs allow your champ to do more damage. D do they? Because I can't sacrificial lamb this in front of my champ. My champ is all... Like, th the floor my champ is going to be on oftentimes is with the alpha friend as the blocker. And there's no extra place on that floor. I guess if I go for capacity after this... Let's 
Spike of the Hellhaunt is nice in general, though. And it'll be really good on its own with important work, but I can't rely on getting both of those in the same hands. At least in that last fight, your armor total was good enough for RAM. Yeah, but the problem is, even if my armor total does get good enough for RAM, and it will, like, in the final fight as well, if my armor total is good enough for RAM, then I already have the kill. So having another RAM, in, uh, the battering RAM in my deck at that point is kind of dead. We only get enough armor to win with battering RAM if we're already winning without battering RAM. That's effectively what I'm saying there. I'll save the money on that one as well. We're really going to need something like Imsicle here. It was a random selection of artifacts. Oh, I could get another end flame though. Another double stacked end flame or another zero cost end flame. What do we have in the next area? Uh, merchant and trinkets with double removal. Forge your units, get an artifact. Cut cards are really good in this deck, though. That is true. Yeah, duplicating the Inflame is around as effective as just removing more cards between me and the Inflame. You're right, Diaresis. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. I'm going to go over this way. This also gives me the opportunity to look for a Imsicle. Unfortunate. Regen resource, plus one health per stack. Yeah, garbage. Sting spells, also kind of garbage. Unless I also already had the piercing effect on those. Doesn't really help us. And sketch the salvation, also useful. Oh. Useless for all the sec. Really unfortunate shop to hit right there, to be honest. To be honest. Uh, let's get a restore out of here. Alpha Friend does need some restoring occasionally, but... So would I save all of my money for the next area? That's another double removal next to a Merchant of Imps as well. I do find the Imps to be in a weird place at the moment, though I guess it's because they're Hellhorned and it's one of the only two clans we have access to. Yeah, that would actually be another thing. I would I would wonder if there is another clan that has more Imp focus as well. That would be interesting just for the sake of being able to multi-class those two clans. Although maybe a bit too informative as to what your strategy should be if you're multi-classing those clans. I would love to play that end flame, but I have to play the Wildwood Tome. Do I? 10, 30, 10. So this will still kill around the same time. It'll save a lot of health on the Alpha Friend. It's fine. I'll go for the quick. Wildwood Custodian, double Molting Imp. If I throw those down on that floor, I lose them. If I throw them down on the bottom floor, I only have to kill one Quill Marksman. I keep my Wildwood Custodian. That's fine. Can't wait to see the artifacts with the other clans. Yeah, I wonder... Like, because... Because as, as, as far as I'm aware, all of the items that are all of the relics that I've been getting so far are available for all clans but that's only because I have to play both clans all the time so I don't know like maybe plus one stack of spikes each time it's applied doesn't exist unless you have the oh that would make sense though unless you have awoken in there so these are clan specific relics rather than broad relics okay okay from what the devs said on stream, the channels have been buffed in full release. They've been buffed to be able to attack if you buff them with rage and stuff like that. Which I don't know if that's a buff. Because sometimes you have a floor where you have like a, a channeler and you know you drop a rage imp for the sake of your frontliner or unit attacking a little bit more commonly. But if the enemies have spikes, then you kill your wildwood custodian against them. So it does give you, like, more tactical choices to make, which is what they were talking about in the stream. But I think, like, there are, like, I, I think the edge cases where you want it to attack. I guess there's, there's not that much spikes in the game. I don't know. It immediately struck out to me, like, hmm, that's weird. So how does Switch Prime resub work? Do I have to resub on April 22nd to gain the second month? Or how long after that day do I have time to resub? If anyone knows, could you tell Shadowblood? I, I do not. Unfortunately. Good, good. 
good. Should probably sack this in. And draw way too many good cards. Lovely. Right, play another imp and sack it. I think so at this point, honestly. Let's kill that frontliner. And the backliner, in fact. Sack you, get a train steward, and then just another end flame. It's good enough for us. Hey, Rita. How's it going, bud? You gotta do it manually for Twitch, uh, Twitch Prime. Much appreciated for uh, for the notification there. All right. I guess let's start throwing stings on this floor. No reason not to. Big hi from Italy, Raps. Love your video and your voice especially. They're great company in these weird days. Keep it up. Will do, Boba Boba. Big hi to Italy. Good to see you. So, uh, Inflame. Double sting. I know it's not really Raps' thing, but the lore of the game is fascinating to me. Can't wait to learn more about it. I'll try and have like a soft focus on the lore a little bit uh, when it's reintroduced into the game. But yeah, it's it's not really my focus, to be honest. I'm gonna throw both of these down here just to protect the wild custodian. Alright. One more. And flame. These things are useful for just throwing cards out of my hand and drawing back into my others. Thank you. Double end flame again. really to do. I mean, I guess I could heal you, but it's just an incant trigger. Have a happy Passover, Good Friday. Uh, I did not know it is Passover or Good Friday at the moment. Is it even Friday at the moment? If Sunday. No, it's Saturday. What? No, Sunday 6.30 is when my next alarm is. Okay, so it's, it's yeah, it's Saturday for me. It's Friday for y'all. Got it. You know, honestly, I don't, I don't really know when Easter is. Bad Roman Catholic here. Cultural Roman Catholic, at least. That should be good enough. All right, I've got D&D &D to go play. Catch around, Vanya. By the way, found you via Alexa, and since then you made my days, especially my hard and sad ones, much brighter. Love your content and your dry, slightly sarcastic kind of video making. Much appreciated for uh, for getting exactly what I'm going for there, Shadow Blood. I'm very glad that I can do that. Throw those things out, get my inflames back. Yeah, Hornbreaker Prince is big enough. I just need it to have multi-strike. One Horn's Tome would be a really good pickup for us. Along those lines. I've got to ask Grabs, uh, how did you come across or find Monster Train? Uh, Rito. Rito. That's how I... I believe Rito saw another streamer called uh, Fox Sincade playing it, I want to say, two months ago at this point. And then immediately referred it to me in Discord as, hey, you might want to keep your eyes on this. And uh, I think I immediately threw in a request on Keymailer. So then when I got the email back, I was like, oh, oh, I've been offered this game. So I, I completely uh, lost track of the fact that it was Rito that actually showed it to me. But yeah, it was Rito. Rito through and through. I mean, I strike quick with the Hornbreaker, so I should let the Quill Marksman go up. I like the artifact that gives train stewards a damage shield and double strike. It'd be really cool if in the future a train clan was released. I, hmm. Maybe not a train clan, but like an event. Like an event that can happen in the first couple areas of the game that gives you like a mega buff to your, uh, your train stewards and you can kind of pivot into that. I think they did talk about what other ways in the main game exist for you to buff the train stewards. And uh, so far... I think it's just that and then buffing them in as in the the 
advanced prototype and then buffing them in different minion shops. And flame happily. It's right, important work here. It's fine. Just want to make sure that I get all of the statues down. Get yourself a one horns tome wraps. That's a lot of attack. Yeah, I really, really, really want one. Hopefully, we get one after this fight. Uh, guess I go for a torch here. No reason to do anything else. The alpha friend is not really getting any time to attack here. So the point that maybe the alpha friend isn't necessary? It's possible. It kind of just needs to sap up like a couple hits in the early, but that's about it. Yeah, I think, I think this has revealed exactly how useless it is for us. It's a meat shield and it's your friend. I don't disagree that it's my friend. It's a meat shield for maybe one round at the start of combat though, which is a little, uh, a little low on effect. I can go for an additional card per turn again. Gets us into drawing our combo much faster. And also the important work, especially once I thin down the deck more, the important work becomes even more valuable as the way to get a little bit of extra energy on the turn that I need to play Alpha Fiend as well as some other stuff. Alpha Friend, sorry. Ooh, transcended. Fine. Awoken Rail Spike isn't needed. We already have all of the draw that we need, and we have the energy to play all the cards we draw. I'll take the transcendent. If we can make it endless, then suddenly it's good. Okay, fine. We'll go over this way first. Come on, Imsicle. Train steward units gain damage strike, uh, damage shield, and multi strike. I still have three of them in the deck. It's way too late to focus on them though. Conserve energy between turns. That's really, really good. The important work is going to be great with that. So we'll definitely take the unbroken horn. Advanced prototype. We were just talking about it, and it did just show up. But it's way better to go for removals. In fact, like removing them is even important right now. Get a restore and a torch out of here. Do you know if Transcendent triggers upon itself? It does not. I've checked a few times. And there's a YouTube video going live, I think, tomorrow? That is based around effectively checking that concept. Get a torch out of here. Get a train steward out of here. I am the alpha friend and the omega friend, the beginning friend and the end friend. Ooh, no boss enemy units gameplay, like eight additional damage. This is going to be annoying because these wild, these, these, these are big. 140 HP big. I don't think I can take the random artifact here. No stewards? They're like... We're on the seventh hell, uh, seventh ring of hell already. So taking the stewards and then like trying to buff them, we have very little time left to do that. We wouldn't really have the ability to actually make them worthwhile units. Sorry about it. If you get it really early, then you can start focusing on it because they really need attack buffs if they're actually going to be useful. I thought the beta ended. So did I, but apparently it got extended until the 27th. Sorry about that sound right there. A little bit of indigestion. Um, yeah, I have to pass this. I can't do anything. Mr. Jens, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy your modes and chat. And welcome to the Republic. All right. It's Alpha, Hornbreaker. I need time to set up to try and kill the Steel Wings. Uh, I'm also going to need the, the Melting Imp to try and kill the, the Winged Conduit here in the back line. Thank heck. Oh, that was really important it did that. And then I'll important work Sacrifice you. End Flame, End Flame. Okay. 
So the Hornbreaker Prince is going to be able to kill the Steel Wing. The only problem is that the Gilded Wing is going to live. What if I kill the Steel Wing without... The only problem is if I kill the Steel Wing first, then I'm going to need way more damage for the Gilded. Is this the first run of the stream? Yes, it is. We're on the seventh floor, but yes, it is. Wildwood Custodian, throw out a Train Steward, Inflate Sting. Yeah. So we're going to kill the Steel Wings here. Leaving the Gilded Wing to go up. We're going to need to heavy buff the Hornbreaker Prince to kill that Gilded Wing. That's what I'm relying on here. We also might need to use like the Transcend Imp as well as all of the other Molting Imps in order to have enough damage to take it down, but... I'm going to try that. What about different types of advanced prototypes instead? Maybe one that gives them quick and one that gives them plus 15 attack? Yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah, if there were multiple different... Uh, multiple... Oof, that being on that floor is actually annoying. It'll sap some of the damage I wanted the multi-imp to do. It's fine, though. Uh, but having them be, like, collect the parts to make your train stewards Exodia would be really good. I'd be into that. And quicken you, double and flame you. Important work you. Yeah. That'll be enough, right? Impolate. Throw both of those down on the bottom floor. Even get a train steward out. Yeah, this is good. 140, exactly. Way lots of HP. I was about to say way too much HP, but yeah, it is the challenge of this Ring of Hell. Anyone know what the Seraph is? The Seraph is cleanse you of your simple way, so it'll remove your buffs and debuffs. So that's like, it will remove the rage from my Hornbreaker, but it won't remove the armor and it won't remove all of the slay stacks because the slay stacks are enhancers. So they effectively just stay on the card. All right, transcend him. I'm going to double sting, killing that frontliner. Throw out the impolate as well. Important work, just for the extra energy. Great. What about a unit that's able to attack enemies who are not on their floor? Ooh, like, like a, like, like, like a unit that reaches down from the roof. Like you play it on the top floor and it's like a puddle on the top floor. But then on the bottom floor, it's like seeping through the roof. And it's just like, like arms, like goo arms. I'd be into that. That would be interesting. It might complicate some of the, the screen information, but it'd be interesting. Right. So every turn we just get those two in flames off, basically. Sounds like a pain to code, if I guess. Really depends how that system is set up at the moment. One big problem here is we're going to let the Winged Conduit go up to the top floor. So we're going to take one damage, the Winged Conduit. I'm sorry. We're not going to perfect this fight. I don't think they're going to add like something like that. Uh, maybe not necessarily, but this is less speculation about what they will add and more speculation about what they might or what would be cool if they could. Sounds to me like a way to bypass the overstacking limits of floors. Yeah. But maybe there's a clan based around bypassing over stacking limits. Sounds like a high ceiling, uh, high ceiling kind of uh, clan to me. Right. Again, double the M flame, inflate, and then double the M flame again. Multi strike on Neffle is really, really terrifying here, actually. But thankfully, thankfully, we will have the kill handily. You only took one damage because you had Alpha Friend, by the way. I mean, any other unit would have been able to kill the second liner there. It only had three HP. Go. 
They just said in the stream yesterday, I saw it, that all cards affect only the four you played on. Yeah, well, th they were specifically saying that there were people who were asking for clarification on cards, like uh, like the wild would restore all units to full health, uh, all your friendly minutes to full health, rather. Um, they were, uh, it was in response to someone asking for clarification to be put on those cards that it only affects the floor that it's played on. But they were saying that every card in the game only affects the floor that it's played on. So if I had to put a tooltip on each of them, that would just be, that would inc increase verbosity of the cards, I believe is exactly what they're saying. Um, but it wouldn't be a problem if they had to add one tooltip to a card that says this doesn't just affect the floor that it's played on, right? Affects the entire train or something like that. I can totally see that. What about a card that does 100 damage to everything, like a Mega Inferno? Also, Paulies, you never told me what they say on Reddit about me. I remember. It's not that long ago. Uh, Impalay. Reinforce? Reinforce is way too much. And Impalay's probably not necessary. Impalay is mainly just to knock them down. Kappa. Yeah. As I suspected. Impalay's just to knock them down. So that they're ready for the Hornbreaker Prince to finish off. Do I want it though? Hmm. Do I need it though? I think a clan base around ice demons would be really cool, if a bit weird. Like a Satan frozen ice is a thing in Dante's Inferno. So here, yeah, apparently uh, people are saying that the Stygian clan is a little bit like that. Stygian basically have SDS poison called Frostbite. That seems pretty good. That's okay. That's an interesting thing. Yeah, no, I haven't seen much um, much in the way of like a poison effect in the game. I don't think I need this. 100 damage to everything, including the pyre, maybe? Yeah, it's effectively just the end my run button. Uh, invigorating solution. Uh, having that in the first cycle can be pretty good. Helps us get up set up really early. Duping another card in the deck would basically just be getting another double stacked end flame at this point. Uh, it could be a Transcend Imp, I guess. But we can get an Artifact as well as 100, as well as Forging Units here. Forging Units, giving Endless to the Transcend Imp, obviously, is the best thing here. I want to see that. X-Cost cards get plus 3 to their X value when played. We have no X-Cost cards in the deck. 50% chance to swap the front and enemy units whenever they enter your train. So, getting a back unit out front first does give the Hornbreaker the ability to slay more commonly. But then... If the front unit is out first, after the point that the Hornbreaker is really big, then because it's quick and the Alpha Friend is not, it'll kill. The Hornbreaker will waste a hundred damage on a uh, small unit, and then the Alpha Friend will. I mean, but at the same rate, if that's the case, then I can use the stings. No, I can use the stings if that's the case. It's fine. Okay, my tables up. Group of the gathering. Gotta go. Catch you around, Darkers and Rambles. Oh. We did it. Endless. Got it. So what is endless here? This is 60 damage. Uh, so the Transcendium, every time I play it, will just deal 60 random damage to the enemies. Pretty good. And it'll die every round because I just have to play it where there is more than six. Oh, a multi-strike. Baby. Just have to play it where that is. Alright. I mean, I don't want to buff it at all. Let's buff the Alpha Friend again. And remove another card from the deck. Get a train suit out of here. Lightning Gaming, thank you very much for the uh, the $15 donation. Much appreciated. Uh, comes with no message. Sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, so I can remove buff and debuff effects. Completely fine. 60 the first time, then 120 the second. No, they don't feed each other. You have a small bu uh, blue nuke now. Yep, pretty much. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Do I still set up on the top floor? Ok, 
I do. Okay, you can have a Wildwood Tome. Eh, this is fine. Molting, Molting. Transcend Imp. I could put the Transcend Imp immediately back atop my deck with the, uh, the important work here. I'm effectively just trying to sacrifice units at this point. Don't want them in my deck. Okay. Take both end flames. Uh, I'm going to be sacrificing units on the bottom floor constantly, so it should be fine to throw that away there. Okay. End flame draws us into that. I'll sack you. Another end flame. Transcend him and then invigorating solution just to draw all my cards back. Sounds good to me. This is working pretty well, I feel. Uh, this is uh this has come down pretty well. And I get to keep all of the energy that it gives us as well. Keep on killing on wraps. We'll do, you great. Okay, so Hornbreaker Prince is gonna get the kill on the Gilded Wing. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. I uh, gotta check that. Uh, hang on. How do I actually pull up the thing that's written? Sorry, game is difficult, and by game I mean streaming. Streamlabs. Actually, pull up the names. Cool. Sorry about this for a second. Let's actually play out the turn while that's logging in. End flame, end flame easily. Transcend him definitely goes on the bottom floor. I mean, I could important work it. I don't have to though. Lightheart Gaming, thank you again. Uh, hey, hey, man, I forgot something uh, to type something, Raps. So I'm watching from the, from the and it's midnight here. I'm watching from the and it's midnight here. Watching from the and it's midnight here. Where would it be midnight as opposed to this time zone? So what? I'm plus eleven. So it, that could be like UK. That could be kind of like uh, like Western Europe kind of situation. Europe? In the UK? Ah, there we go. I was right! Woo! I finally learned something about time zones. Confirmed, Raps is just a real-life manifestation of a streamer simulator. Shh, don't tell them, Diaresis. Don't tell them all that I've been programmed this entire time. It's not Eastern Europe, I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, because, like, that's what, uh... I'm gonna say... Actually, I don't know what UTC it is. I was gonna say UTC plus five, but no, U UTC minus five America? Yeah, UTC minus five is America, and then minus seven is also America. I don't know. I haven't worked with many people in Eastern Europe, so I don't necessarily have a handle on it. I'm knackered for 30 to help you on your way. Much appreciated, lighthearted. Sincerely. Lightheart, sorry, not lighthearted. Misspoke. First time catching you live, been watching on YouTube for about a year, love all your stuff. Thank you for introducing me to the school deck builders. I'm glad to be doing so, Animages. Extremely glad to be doing so. These are all the kinds of games that I think, like, need a couple more eyes on them, and I'm really, really glad that I'm in a position to actually be able to provide those eyes. Need to nuke on this floor. Yeah, I'll nuke on this floor. Otherwise, what am I doing with the whole transcendless imp kind of situation? There you go. I'll stop sacking it myself so that the Wildwood Custodian past this point doesn't die. That's enough. 
Perhaps you deserve to get known by many other people. You love my faves and I'll drop compliments here and there. More YouTube and Twitch lovers. That's what you deserve. Much appreciated, Shadow Blood. Seriously. It's, uh, it's, it's been going extremely well recently. I'm feeling a lot of the love. I wonder how small the imps are. Well, compared to, like, I'm assuming Hornbreaker Prince is kind of like the size of like an average man. So, you know, this is between 5'8 and 6'2, around there. So then compare the Endless Imp to those. So, I can't play it on that floor. It's about half size. So I'm going to say they're about three foot tall. Another one, like a one horns tome, as well as one horns tome and impish scholar at this point would be ridiculous. Would have been incredible. Are there any old games you'd like to go back and play more of? I want to do a series on Planescape Torment. I've always wanted to do a series on Planescape Torment on the main channel. I, uh, I, I do not have the ability to lock up a slot at the moment for a long RPG, but that's one of the things that I'm like always. <laughs> um. And then another one would be uh, Fallout New Vegas I want to do a series on. I wanted to do, like, effectively what I want to do with Fallout New Vegas is what I ended up doing with Disco Elysium, which was effectively uh, trying to create a, a reasonable simulation of my own philosophical and political positions inside a game that asks you to wrangle with them. But I ended up doing that with Disco Elysium, so that kind of served as the series that I was planning. And then I don't sack it myself, right? Yeah, otherwise I miss, miss out on the draw. Hi, everybody. Hi, Rawson. How's it going? Hey, Josie, as well. Good to see you. Hey, Raph, so you think a viable strategy is to use a buffed up Transcendent by using a Woken HP buffs as a meat shield with around 400 health? The only problem is, like, you can have a meat shield that never dies, but unless you deal damage, you don't do anything. So, like, you still need the damage from somewhere. And your build would be defined by where you get the damage from rather than just making a big meat shield. Uh, one thing you could do, I guess, is, like, the, the release the Wildwoods, the ones that heal to full HP of Endless Transcendent that has, like, ridiculous HP total, and then an, a removed consume from... Oh, the Transcendent would also have to have armor as well. That's very important. It would have to have uh, armor gain from Welder Helpers. Uh, and then a the the Adaptive Mutation. Remove consume from that, and then just swap it back over. And then you would have, like, a 400 HP, 50 armor unit. But it, it's endless, so it would just stand... Well, it doesn't have to be endless. Okay, remove endless from the whole situation. You can end up with, like, a big, big unit that way. That's interesting, but I think there are too many moving pieces in it to really work. Have you tried the JRPG Octopath Traveler? Not yet. I did have my eyes on it for a while, though. Hey, Rapso Dad, I'm here from YouTube to study. Good, your grades will be fine in no time, Mighty Tiddly. Unfortunately, I do have to say the whole stream is not going to be an ASMR. We just got our rage buffed purge there, rather. You don't have to heal it with adaptive mutation. No, I'm saying you you. Oh, because adaptive no adaptive mutation full heals it. Yeah, okay, Vida, you're right, you're right, you're right. My bad on that one. What does ASMR mean? Uh, audio sensory motor response? I think? I don't experience it, but it's it's the thing where people whisper and make soft sounds and they make your skull tingle. I, I have experienced ASMR once actually, no. It was listening to a song that I hadn't listened to in a very long period of time. Was uh, Starlings by Elbow. Uh, I mean, you know, I can import and work for some reason, I guess, yeah. Starlings is so good. I'm really glad to see that you appreciate that as well, uh, Izzy Stardust. It's like. 
well, like two, two and a half minutes into the song, it, it has that like rising section where all of the instrumentation starts chiming in and it's like, oof, mm, baby. Thanks for streaming, by the way. It's really relaxing. Thank you for being here, Camaro Draco. It's very relaxing to be able to do the stream as well. Uh, that. You. Sting back, I guess. Perhaps I played a two-year campaign in the multiverse of Planescape, and I played Planescape Torment and the new one, Planescape Numenero, which I also recommend to you. Ooh. I hadn't heard that many people talking about the new one. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Okay, so nothing what I said except for, I think, response. I think I said response is one of the words. And... That's game. So what uh, music genre do you like the most? For me, it's Alternative Metal, 3 Days Grace. Um... I used to be much more specific. It was kind of like punk rock or nothing. Uh, but I, I I listen to a much broader range of music at the moment. One thing I still can't listen much to is like really airy vocals. It's real hard for me to like airy vocals. But then again, also, I was like, I, I've been mad for Eilish's album. So there's exceptions to every rule there. My ex got me the Grounds for Divorce album on vinyl. Yeah, Seldom Seen Kid. It's such a good one. That is that is my favorite album they've ever done. I like, I like Build a Rocket Boys, but I'm always going to be a Seldom Seen Kid man at heart. Maybe one day it'll be, stop being painful so I can listen to it again. I hope that for you, Izzy. Uh, 